we know that transaction is a series of database operations that can only be successfully completed if all the operations in the transaction have been carried out as intended. Now transaction have long been a crucial component of relational databases but until recently documented oriented databases like MongoDB and other NoSQL databases largely lacked them. So there are however applications for which accessing and modifying multiple documents in a single operation with guaranteed integrity is required even with documented oriented databases. So if you want to know how to use transactions through MongoDB shell rather than an application, it's still necessary to start a session in order to execute a set of operation as a transaction. On that note, hey everyone, welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. Well, in today's session, we'll be discussing what are MongoDB session commands. Now, session commands basically allow you to provide specific instructions to the database through a command language using certain uh, commands. So, we'll be learning uh, exactly what are the MongoDB sessions and various types of commands that are used in this criteria. So, without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. But before we begin, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further delay, let's get started with today's topic. So firstly, what are session commands in MongoDB? Now a session is basically is used to group together a series of operations that are related to each other, which would be executed with the same session options. Now if you consider MongoDB, MongoDB shell does not, uh, is not typically used to write and execute transaction. The majority of, the, majority of the time, external applications use transaction instead. So the application must initiate a session in order for any transaction it performs to be guaranteed with the asset properties like atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. So a session is a database object in MongoDB that is controlled by an application using a proper MongoDB driver, which can be used with various applications like C, C++, Python, Java and other applications as well. So this basically enables the driver to apply additional configurations such as enabling the use of transaction, whether you want to start a transaction or uh, you know terminate a transaction to even a group of database statement as a whole. So as a result, they will have a shared context and can be associated with each other using the session commands where it will process sequence of database statements. So that is what exactly the session commands are in MongoDB. So this can be performed using various uh, MongoDB uh, session commands. So we have typically five uh, session commands in MongoDB namely. Firstly, we have the about transaction command, which is basically is used to stop or terminate the ongoing transaction. Next, we have the commit transaction command, which is used to permanently save all the transactions done in the MongoDB database. Next, we have the end sessions command, which expires, it is to expire any ongoing sessions before the timeout. So in general, MongoDB has a timeout period of 30 minutes. So after that, it will automatically end the uh, session within a MongoDB instance. So if you want it uh, to done before uh, uh, the computer automatically does to you, you can use the end session command. Next, we have the kill all sessions, which is used to terminate all these sessions, right? As the name says, kill all. Next, we have the kill all sessions by pattern. Now you can even uh, terminate a session or stop a particular session by using a specified pattern. So if ever, if the pattern matches a specified, uh, you know, character that you mentioned in your server session, in that case, you can use kill all sessions by pattern. Now we'll be understanding each of them uh, in a more depth with its syntax and how it works. Now, apart from this, we have the basic and the generic type of session commands in MongoDB, where we have refresh sessions, kill sessions and start session all. So the refresh session command is used to update the end use time for the specified session by extending the active state of the session. So if you're working on a particular uh, transaction and if you want to, uh, you know, refresh it in that case you can use the refresh session command which will basically extend the uh, period of the session that your the, the ongoing session is happening next we have the kill session so if you want to uh, you know exit or terminate only a particular uh, spe specified you know uh, session for the user in such case you can use the kill sessions next finally we have the start session command 
as the name suggests the start session command is used to start a new logical session in the mongodb database now the constraint here is you must be authenticated to run this command that is proper authentication should be given to the mongodb database otherwise it does not enforce so if the deployment does not have any uh, authentication or authorization a created uh, has no owner and can be used by any user over any connection so these were some of the uh, types of session commands that we use so let's just get into detail with each of the uh, command here so the first one is what is abort transaction command so the abort transaction uh, command or the method tells mongodb to undo all the modifications made throughout the transaction and restore the database to its initial configuration so it basically terminates all the uh, multi-document transaction and rolls back any changes made by the operations within the transaction. That is, the transaction basically ends without saving any of the changes made by the operations in the transaction. Now, the abort transaction command must be run within a session and run against the admin database only. And another constraint is, it will terminate any transaction before it can get executed because one of the operation caused an error. So to run the abort transaction, the command must be uh, run against the admin database and run with the start session initially. So let us understand the syntax for this. The syntax is followed as db.admin command and within the brackets mention abort transaction and we are given a boolean value that is 1 that means true. Next we have the transaction number. It can be of any type. I am just specifying the long. Next, we have the right concern, mention the document name, and then I'm giving auto commit to false. Next, we have any comments if you want to uh, display in uh, for the reason why you are aborting the transaction, you can specify it here. So when a transaction aborts, all the data changes, all the data changes made by the right transactions are discarded without ever being visible to the uh, visible and the transaction eventually ends automatically. Next, we have the what is commit transaction command. Now, commit transaction ends the transaction by saving the changes made by the operations in the multi-level document transaction. So, you can say this is basically an opposite of abort transaction command, which will basically ensure that it saves the changes made by the operations in the multi-document transaction and ends the transaction as well. So, again, you to run the commit transaction, you must run it against the admin database uh, using the db.admin command. So the transaction is same again which is similar to that of the abort transaction. Uh, instead of abort transaction mention the commit transaction keyword here and specify it as one. And the rest all the uh, fields where you have the transaction number, right concern, uh, auto commit, comment will all have the same uh, you know criteria. So the right concern basically uh, tells you that when committing any transaction, the session uses the right concern specified at the transaction start. So let's say when a transaction commits and all the data changes made in the transaction are saved and visible outside the transaction, which, which means a transaction will not commit some of its changes while rolling back the other changes. So until and unless a transaction commits, the data changes made in the transaction are not visible to any user outside of the transaction. So I hope you were clear with the commit transaction. Next we have the what is end sessions command. So basically end session expires the sessions that are specified. Now the command overrides the timeout window that the sessions wait before closing. Now what do I mean by that? So this method basically closes an existing session. So if a transaction was associated within this a session, the transaction will get uh, aborted once you, uh, you know, give this end session command. So after calling this method, application should not invoke any other commands on this session anymore. So let us understand the syntax. The syntax is followed as db.run command and within the parenthesis, I am giving the end sessions keyword and inside that I am mentioning id where you have to give the uuid. Now uuid is basically an, you know, alt, uh, alter, uh, you know, specification for, you know, object id we have in mongodb. So mongodb and other mongodb drivers come with this inbuilt support for the uuid data type. And it's very easy and convenient to start using the UUID immediately as well. 
So it basically MongoDB itself stores UUIDs as a binary field and when such binary fields are accessed from software, MongoDB drivers usually convert their value which is found uh, in the database to language specific uh, you know UUID objects. So that is just an opposite of, uh, not, not an opposite I can say, it is an alternative uh, to the use of object ID in MongoDB. So that is what end session is all about. Next we have the what is kill all session command? Now, killing a session terminates any in progress operations in the section, session. So we haven't discussed what exactly why we are using kill uh, keyword here. So the MongoDB takes this command in order to terminate any ongoing process or the operations in that session. So the kill all session commands kill all the uh, you know sessions that are being run on the MongoDB database. And if access control is enabled, the command only kills the sec sessions that are owned by the user. So let us now understand the syntax. Now so we have uh, you know kill sessions as well uh, as in addition to kill all sessions. So the basic or uh, the generic type of syntax that we write here is db.run command. Inside that we are specifying kill all sessions and you can either give a particular user and the database name wherein the command takes an array of documents that specify the UUID portion of the uh, session ID. Or else what you can do is you can just simply run the db.run command where you are just specifying kill all sessions which will automatically terminate all the operations in the in that particular session. And if you want a particular only uh, specific type of uh, session, in that case, you have to mention the user and the DB associated to it. So let's say I have uh, this uh, two users, right? I just want to uh, stop only these two sessions, right? In that case, I'm using db.run command, kill all sessions, and then just giving the username and the DB. So Rohan1 uh, is the user and the DB that is working on is employee1. So it will basically terminate all the sessions or the transactions that are ongoing. That is, if you're performing any read or write operations on this, it will terminate all the sessions in one go. Next, we have what is kill all by session, all sessions by pattern. Now, as the name suggests, we are basically stopping all uh, particular session with the help of a specified pattern here, which is the definition of this command is the kill all session by pattern command kills all sessions that match any of the specified pattern. Now the syntax is also similar to that of kill all sessions which is db.run command and inside the parenthesis we are giving the keyword kill all sessions by pattern and mention the pattern here. Now there are various patterns that are associated uh, with this. So you can either have any of the four choices that you can see in the table here. Now the first one basically specifies the UUID portion of the session ID that you want to terminate. Next you can just give the uh, UUID or and give the bin data which will basically specifies the hash of the owner of the session to kill. Next you can just give the, uh, you can just specify the owner of the session you know, to kill or to terminate that session which will require additional privileges. And finally, you can also uh, terminate a session by just giving the role uh, to that database. So it, if you specify the role assigned to the owner of that session, in order to stop it, you can just give to that uh, particular uh, role as well, which will again require additional privileges. Now what I mean by uh, additional privileges here is that, so if uh, the database that you're working on enforces any authentication or authorization, you must have the kill any session or kill all session privilege action in order to run the kill all session by pattern command. So only in such case you can use this type of command which is kill all section by command if you have the permission of kill all session command. So that is what uh, kill all session by pattern uh, command is all about. And with that we have come to the end of today's session guys. I think we have discussed pretty much about all the uh, session commands that we use. Now in terms of working on MongoDB database, it is not uh, an e important topic to uh, you know learn. It is just a uh, conceptual topic. Maybe you might be asked in your interview questions, but in general, if you're working on a database, you might not use uh, more of the session commands. So it is important to uh, have a knowledge, a pretty much knowledge on what are the session commands and what is the basic significance on why we use in our MongoDB database. So, just
just to wrap up what we have learned is in this session you just learn how to commit the transaction and how to abort it and roll back any changes using the session commands as well as what happens when an error occurs inside the transaction and you also learned how to uh, you know terminate the session using the kill session commands as well thank you for watching the video guys if you found this tutorial informative and helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest stay tuned to the channel for more such amazing content and if you want to learn more about mongodb we have a dedicated playlist on our channel so make sure you check that out until next time stay safe and keep coding